Demonic Orchard, bringing you another battle report, this time 2200 points versus Lord Tremendous's Arch Nemesis Death, Holy Death. That's right, after I easily dispatched of Zinch, <laughs> not really, <laughs> after I played Lord Tremendous, my fiance was sitting around, and Death, uh, Death was there the whole time with a couple of their other buddies from their group. And he was like, hey, man, do you want to get a quick game in? And I'm like, of course, dude. I mean, who doesn't want to play Death and try to beat Death? Oh, my gosh. This sounds like Russian roulette right now. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I should play this game. Anyway, there is a picture of the witches that are almost done. Um, he's getting his army painted up for Rock Wars. Super fun guy, great time to be had by all. Uh, this was his deployment right here. If you look at the far left of the screen, you'll notice there is, I believe those are the Brolocks back there, some Warlocks, a five pack. Um, then he had some Dark Riders, a Bolt Thrower. He had, I think those are called Bleak Swords, uh, some Sisters of Slaughter, Witches, and a Cauldron, and two more Bolt Throwers. Lydia is sitting right there with the Sisters of Slaughter at the beginning, and I think his BSB was there too. I really, I, we sh I showed up down there. We didn't exchange lists or anything like that. It, Rock Wars is closed list. I, I mean, any of you that listen to Lord Tremendous' Battle Reports, you know they play closed list. Their house, I wanted to play closed list with them, and you know, we was just having so much fun. I didn't really think to ask about special list stuff but you'll see what's going to happen in the uh in the old report so my list which you guys already know but there is my keeper the mvp the slayer of tremendous wow that just kind of that just rolls off the tongue doesn't it the slayer of tremendous <laughs> that's what we call from now on tremendous slayer my fiends a hell flayer of slanesh then I have my 10-pack of Horrors with a pink, uh, a, uh, a Zinch Herald. My 24 Demonets with a Herald of Slanesh. One Slaneshi Cannon of Doom. Actually, it's a corn cannon, but whatever. You know, my world. I'll make it whatever I want. 10 more Horrors with a Herald, level 2. And another 
Slaanesha Char uh, Chariot. And you can kind of see by my magic cards, again, I got Final Trans, Enchanted Blades, uh, all sorts of magic. Half this crap I never use. It's it's pretty much Final Trans, Infernal Gateway if I get it, which I did again, and Cacophonic Acquiescence, you know, rinse, repeat. So we go to roll, and... Uh, I, I didn't get to go first. I, I now know why Lord Tremendous is always upset when Death goes first because this is what he does. He came forward and he came forward hard. <coughs> Excuse me. So he runs forward and I'm like, well, this is going to suck. But, not to despair, friends, those are witch elves. And I know how to handle me some witch elves. Um, but... Death knew how I was trying to try to handle those witch elves. So, we go into magic and shooting. Here you see those uh, Dark Riders there. actually in the building to the right of the Hell Flare. So, that's where they were sitting at. He ran them in. They got off their little elven horses and pranced around in there. Prancer. Vixen. Don. Yeah, never mind. I can do the elves. Or the reindeer. But you know what I'm talking about. Because that's where they're at. They're sitting in there. And they take a shot, and I save the uh, the one hit that he got. I think he wounded once, I saved once, and well, everything's fun in, in, uh, fun in Whoville. That's a Grinch reference. What up? I'm not quite sure what that one means, but I'm sure it's not great. So we go to my turn. And as you can see, I have advanced. So let me just get this out of the way now. I sat there and I looked at Death and I said, Hey, bro, this is going to be the fastest game we ever played for one of us. And he was like, You're going to do it, huh? You're going to charge it in there? I said, Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. So I charged my fiends into his bleak scorch thinking they're elves. They're you know, whatever. I should be able to deal with some elves. ASF, man. ASF. I ran my keeper around the side. And I did. I charged my demonets, and I charged my uh, two corn, uh, my my two slanesh chariots in there, and I let my I moved my horrors back a little bit. So the idea here was is that I was going to acquiescence the witch elves, and I was hoping that he would forget that I had the spell. Um. Yeah, he didn't forget I had the spell. So I six dice gateway at the sisters and. I didn't irresistible it, so he scrolls it. Go freaking figure. So I roll my last, like, two dice at Acquiescence. Right? He's got three dice. He rolled a one, one, and a two. Acquiescence is my friend. Acquiescence, well, it goes off. So now the Witch Elves are always striking last. Random movement. I now have a shot at these freaking bozos. So... I'm like, what, what, in the butt. I said, what, 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 in the butt, what, what, what. He was so scared. You see the middle there? There's supposed to be a model right there. She walked away in disgust that he rolled a two, one, and a one. Just saying, throwing it out there into the universe. Just throwing it. So, yeah, we go to combat. And uh, that's a picture of a lot of dice. I don't know why. Just dice. Hmm, cool. Um... He makes short work of my fiends. I swear to God. This is why I usually run Beast and Urgle. And I'm only running fiends because it's a plus choice in um, Rock Wars. And I forgot that Juggernaut to Corn were the same thing. Sorry. Ooh, I, I keep yawning. I freaking long day at work today, guys. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I, I do that, and he, he makes me pay. I, I think he did a couple of wounds. I lose combat, and then I rolled high on my instability, and they're starting to go. So what you will now notice, though, do you see that big blob of witch elf goodness? It's gone. Yes. Yeah, yes. It is gone. No, it's – it. Uh, so we forgot that I, I rolled ASF, but I rolled my impact hits, and I rolled a bunch. Like, I rolled a lot of impact hits, and, you know, that takes a lot of witch elves. They just kind of, witch elves kind of go away. And then, because he's always strike last, I'm always strike first. 
I did get to strike first, but I don't get the reroll because he's faster than me. But witches are ballistic, or weapon skill four. I'm still hitting on threes, wounding on fours, and I do a ton of wounds. Um, I have a ton of attacks, a ton of wounds. I do a ton of them, and he doesn't really parry much. Um, and they pop. I mean, you can see what's left of my my demonettes right there. I mean, he did do ten wounds to me, but I mean, I still did that much more. So he breaks. Uh, I catch him. And I slam into the 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 Brolocks, the uh, the Warlocks back there, and he reforms his uh, he reformed his bleak swords to face my greater demon because smartly he was like I'd rather have a fiend in my flank than a greater demon. I don't I don't blame him at all. And that was what I rolled for my pursue for one of the cannons. Actually, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think both cannons went. 12 inches on my overrun. I ruled like a 6-6 six, six and a 3 and like a maybe a 6-5 and a 2, something like that. But they catch easy and they both slam into the Warlocks. So we continue on. We continue on. And uh, here we go. So it goes on to his turn. And um, there's not a lot going on. The sisters and the demonettes are engaged. Uh... Oh, you know what? I took this picture. This is a mistake picture. Never mind. This was... What we did was... Um, we made a mistake in order of combat, but uh, I'll get to it in a second. So, yeah. So, this is this is his turn right here. Um, we end up making a mistake. I'll explain it in a second. But I can't... My, demon, my greater demon's still hidden, and he keeps shooting at it, but he doesn't really do much to it. Um, but here's the Sisters of Slaughter, and... Uh, magic was a wash. He really didn't do anything in magic. And I do a couple of wounds. And he does, what is that, eight? So he does eight wounds to my demonettes. And I didn't realize they had a four up ward save. I think that's what it is in combat. Oh my god. It hurts. It hurts. And then for my break check, I probably roll a 12. And uh, it goes away. Yeah. So he reforms to face my, my fiend. Ignore all of this, what you're seeing here, because I took the picture and we kind of moved on, and then we got into my turn, and we realized that we never fought the the combat for the warlocks. So I basically, he's like, "Oh crap, we forgot to fight that." I totally forgot about it, and I easily, you know, two d six impact hits plus one. I, I I murder the bro. I mean, just murder them. Um, I think I killed them to a man. So I looked at him, I was like, well, we forgot to do it. Combat order is very important. And we're playing... To me, if you're playing a friendly game with somebody, it's friendly and it's tournament prep. You should help them with mistakes so that they remember to do it in a real situation like a tournament. So he was like, oh, man. I said, well, you know, do we need to change this? Because this is a huge deal. Everybody and their mother knows that two... Freaking Slaneshi chariots, Slaneshi car ch uh, cannons of doom. We're gonna waste those Brolocks. Waste them. If we'd have done that combat first, when he destroyed the demoness, which he knew he was probably gonna do, he would have faced the cannons, not faced a fiend and a greater demon, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's what he was initially gonna do, and. We talked about it, and I ended up wasting it. And I think he still he turned to face the cannons, but actually no, maybe he maybe he initially faced the cannons and then changed his mind because I I overran a ton. I was like, well, you know, like because he went to face me. I was like, if you're gonna face me like that way, I would obviously overrun, and, and yeah, so we did that. This is what it would really look like when he turned around. He was like, I'm gonna face you know I'm gonna face the cannons because if we do that first. Ah then that's what I was going to do. My dogs hear noises. Oop. Sorry about that, guys. So my cannons go forward. They overrun um, just a little bit. Actually, I re I, maybe I just reformed because it's my turn next. Yeah, it's my turn next. I just reformed. Um, and I charge into his, his bolt throwers. I can't believe this was like five days ago and I can't remember what happened because... Everything in life just is crazy. Crazy busy. So I charge in with my Hellflare and my Greater Demon. And I think 
bleak swords are going away. I'm going to plow through them, and I'm going to run right into the side of those Sisters of Slaughter. That's what I'm thinking, and I'm like, this game is going according to plan. Whoop, whoop. Going into combat, magic, I did nothing. I, I, I can't believe it, but believe it or not, I had a magic phase that was just crap. I rolled like a five. I didn't get any channels. He easily dispatched what I tried to cast. Kind of sucked. But yeah, I, uh, I overrun. I, then I killed the two, two bolt throws right there. Into this combat right here. Uh, he puts a wound on my health layer. And I think I forget to thunder stomp. To tell you the truth now that I'm thinking about it. I probably would have won if I had done it. Gotta remember those thunder stomps. But crap. Anyway, so... Oh, no, you know what? He challenged my greater demon out. And I whiffed and I like to like two wounds to a bleak sword so anyway yeah so I end up losing combat and my health flare goes away but everything else sticks I rolled high for my health flare and low for everything else so I'm okay with that I'm okay with that result <clears throat> on his turn he turns the sisters of slaughter around and now I'm about to discover death holy deaths sneaky trickster ways you sneaky bastard. I freaking love it. This was an epic little trick. I dig it. It's like the anti... You have a hero? Ha ha ha. Get ready to get sunk for being stupid. So we go into magic. And you'll see that Lydia is now over here. Well, how'd she get here? Well, she maestifying miasma my fiend. Well, she used the lore shadow and she switched places with a character. So there's Lydia with my greater demon, and I, again, we're playing close lists. And who cares that death just watched me annihilate Tremendous and knew all my sneaky trickster ways? He was going to be sneaky. He's a dark elf. He's a dark elf at heart. Deep down, when that dude goes to sleep, he dreams of a frozen tundra of Negarith, Roth, Ruth, whatever their name is. Bastards. So he issues a challenge, and I can't refuse it. Not like I would anyway. It's a greater demon. Duh. And I go first. And I smack Lydia across the mouth for being a dirty, dirty, dirty whore. And, well, Lydia um, says, Yeah, you wounded me a couple times there, Chief. Go ahead and uh, take some uh, take some saves. I'm like, what? What? Huh? So he's got the black amulet. Or whatever it is, if that's what it's called. And every wound I do to him uh, it rebounds. Frickin' Awesome. If that, it does something like that. So I don't kill Lydia. Lydia puts a couple wounds on me. And then, it's one of the first times in my life I've ever heard somebody actually ask me to thunder stomp them. Uh, thunder stomps? <laughs> like, I'm, don't mind if I do. So I thunder stomp. I get like five, of course. And I just murder her face. I squish her like a bug. Lydia dies to me! And then she kicks my keeper with her. Don't! So, yeah, kind of sucked. Curse you! And Shadow Magic. But the good news is my fiend uh, is still sitting there pretty, yeah. And whittling him down, believe it or not. And uh, he turns to face my fiend now. So my cannons, uh, yeah, they're just chilling looking over that way. It's fun. Um, I think this is when I'm going to get ready to shoot some stuff. I really... The good thing is I still have magic. So he still has his sisters sitting there, and there's one fiend. I still have enough magic to last me forever and ever. And then I roll a storm of fire, on, and I hit his sisters, and then I final trans them, and I rip off a whole row. So now they're not as uh, not as sisterly as they once were. <laughs> Still need to work on my evil laugh. God. My cannons uh, take aim for some shooting. And uh, yeah, that's my rolling to wound on his bolt thrower, which sucks. And uh, then I throw in a wound there. Sorry about that, guys. 
That is exactly what happened. The game started going fast. My fiance sitting next to me were in Shreveport to have a good time in the hotel, and I've been at the hobby store playing Warhammer for quite a while by now. So me and Death are just we're we're, we're cutting up, laughing about how ridiculous this game already is, and uh, yeah, it was fun. It's been a lot funner with beer. So next time Death that we play, we will have beer and or Jack Daniels. Um, on his turn. There's not much movement, as you can see, with his stuff because it's all basically in common except for the sisters who just kind of keep turning around to face new threats. So I'm okay with that. But he miasmas my horrors and hits their movement. So my horrors movement is down. It says negative two. They're actually down three. Uh, I didn't find my minus three movement uh, token right away. So I'm like, oh, crap. Um, we go to combat, and my fiend actually kills three guys, two or three guys, and I make him run away from me. Run from me! So, in his turn, or in my turn, I'm sorry, I wanted to protect the horror unit that I had sitting there that he faced. I'm like, god darn it, because that was my final trans gateway unit over there. So I run my horrors, my other horrors, out to the sisters, knowing that he have to clip. Not thinking there's a character in there as well that can just easily charge out. But now that my unit is miasma, so I only can run two inches. The question that we didn't look up, and we, I just agreed with them because it, it made sense what he said. I was going to run out, and I was using the 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 model. All the models is where he could the character could come out of and run from. He thought that it would be you had to measure from where you were at in the unit. I don't know what's correct. We went with that because who really cares? I mean, whatever. If it's my version, I go behind the house. If it's his version, I hide behind the unit kind of sort of. Either way, I didn't think he could get to me because I always forget that you can charge out of units. Duh. So, yeah, whatever. So, and then I run my other uh, Harold, the blue guy over there, sticking his tongue out at him. I run him out of the unit trying to conserve points. So I uh, go ahead and do Infernal Gateway on him because I got to use it before I leave. And I rolled like strength 7, and I rolled like 10 for the hits, or 11. And that's what's left. I did not miss much. Three guys. Which... Kind of sucks, because now he can charge out of the unit. But the good news is there's only three of them left, which takes us to shooting. And you'll notice the guy's gone, because in shooting, there is only three guys left. So I have one cannon. I line up at his wizard, and bloop, you're out of here. So I line up the cannon, 10 inches from the front of that unit. There's an eight. I'm like, oh, my God. All I got to do is roll a two or better. Two or better, and I'm taking out his BSB. You no. Know. Nope. And here is where sometimes, you know, when you have a cannon, you have that douche moment because you're like, oh, my God, I misfired. And the guy across the table from you goes, is that the first time you've misfired today? Well, yeah. Yeah. Just call me the D-bag. D-bag. So, he's still running with his guys. I, this is me running my fiend out that way as well. I think I char declared a charge on it. And then I think that, I don't remember, I don't know why he's turned that way. I, I don't know, but his dark riders are gone. I think I charged uh, his bleak swords to make him run. And then I charged his other guys to make them run they ran off the table and now I'm sitting in front of a bull thrower which sucks on his turn he does in fact do what I said he was going to do he charges out his BSB on my herald and he charges one sister into ten whores oh please whores don't die god this could be so bad um oh maybe I didn't get his dark riders they rallied Whatever, ignore everything I say sometimes because I forget. I don't remember. I remember the result. That's all that matters, really, at the end of the day. So the uh, – I think he shoots at my fiend and misses and just whiffs again. And he's coming at me, and it sucks. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Make the Batman stop touching me. I didn't get a picture of it. 
I suck. Probably because I was just happy that I killed something. He murders my Herald of Zinch. I mean, when I say murdered, like, he picks up a bunch of dice, and I'm like, oh, this looks like it could be painful. And he's like, yeah, it will be. And I'm like, lube or no lube? He chose no lube, and he, he struck it to me. My turn. I run my fiend as far away from that bolt thrower as I possibly get. Because I'm, you know, I'm I'm not really afraid, but I kind of am. There's his uh, his herald. My cannons start moving forward uh, because I, I I know I want to take everything out. Um, his bolt thrower is gone, but you know maybe I, maybe that's why my fiend was that way. Maybe I killed the bolt thrower. I don't remember, but yeah, everything's kind of going my way right now. He's got two things left on the board. I think he's got the dark riders and he has the herald. Um, I think that's the number of I gate. I think I gatewayed him again. Yeah, I gatewayed him, and then I gatewayed his BSB, and I miscast. I do a ton of hits, and then after ward saves, take doing the two d six strength ten hits. After rolling to wound my guys, and then ward saving a bunch of them, I lost a model. So not too bad for me. Um, I think that's his leadership check on something. Maybe I gateway them off the table. I gateway something. But this is the end of the game right here. And I don't think he had anything left. And if he did, it was small. I don't really recall. But I had a herald, a unit of uh, two units of horrors, one herald of siege, and two cannons. So uh, it was enough points for a, a victory. I think I got it by 500 points, somewhere around there. So yeah, it was it was a great game. I, I had a, a lot of fun with it. So the aftermath. I came, I saw, I got myself a win. So uh, I will have to say that death is super gross with that combo with Lydia. That shadow magic jump in and just go, Oh, hey character, I'm going to murder your effing face. Bleh. Their gaming group in the Shreveport area is awesome. Every single person there, super friendly. My fiance's actually picked up the Dark Elf book, and she's going to start painting some witch elves and whatnot, considering she painted all the Slanesh demonettes, and the demonettes are what was supposed to be her demon army. She, they, It's always great when you take your fiance or your wife out, and they're not really big gamers. And when we left, she was like, that was a lot of fun. Because everybody was talking to her, it wasn't. We weren't super focused on a game. You know, we'd roll dice, laugh, joke about something stupid, talk about just dumb stuff. So it was, it was really, a, a really a great time. And if this is the quality of the rest of the guys going to Rock Wars, is what's coming from Shreveport. And I know a lot of the guys that I game with are a lot of fun. If this is the majority of what's going to be at Rock Wars, this is going to be one of the better tournaments that I think you could go to. Uh, so if you haven't signed up for Rock Wars, there is one spot left, I believe. One lone spot. Yes, Daisy. See, my dog's even, even, see that? Tell him, Daisy. One spot, huh? Good girl. So there's one spot left. Rock Wars GT, two and a half weeks from now. And, uh... Yeah, I, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one more game in with Tremendous, and hopefully I can get another game in with Death. Uh, I'm going to smack Tremendous around again with a different army, uh, more Slanesh, more Demonet, so he can see the true power of the a a oh, I mean Demonet, and uh, hopefully we'll get some beers with him. But thanks for watching, guys. See y'all later. Peace.